So does this help Ted about the showing the history? Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of things. Are you hoping we will pass this tonight, or we were hoping, uh, as Rob said, it's a resolution. Uh, if if you so care to do so, we'd appreciate it. We do have um, a hearing before the the county council next week, and would be great to be able to take that in, saying that we had your support. Um, there's no, I mean, the urgency is simply to keep the process moving along. And our board will have a public hearing again on the 18th of August for people to come and voice their concerns at our board meeting. So will you get a whole nother committee together like this one? I plan, yeah, I think so. I think that's the best way to do, plus do the, the, open, the open meetings as well. I think that's two, two things. I think it's pretty amazing how fast you paid off the divider. Mm -hmm. but, but the other thing is, you're saying that even if we even if we agree to the resolution, that you will be having a public hearing where the public can come and, and we, discuss. We're having a public hearing. That's important and, enough. And it'll be in front of the county council yeah. on their agenda. It's on their agenda currently for next week. Will there be any during the public uh, meeting? Will there be any uh, so we can kind of look at the proposed building, what it might look like, an idea, kind of. We're, we're really not, we're not there. there right we're here. not there. We can share why we are here with, with pictures of what we saw that wouldn't work on the old side, but we're not there yet. Okay. What is the timeline for completion? I mean, is it like 2012, 13? They usually say from start of construction to opening is 18 months. And I'm leaving. But we, <coughs> we haven't acquired real estate before right, then. Right. So even, even if the 18 months is true, um, we still have to acquire real estate, and, and as I think uh, Matt has said, the mayor has said, we're interested in, in downtown, but that whether the spaces are available, acquirable, or whatever is is another issue. But we have to start somewhere. Right. And we do plan with staying at our current rate that we can pay, pay this two million off in a year. I, I was, if you'll notice on the back, I was one of the members of this committee. And it was a, uh, it was very interesting to see how they went through the process and for, for Trafalgar. Um, and really, the, that, that project um, was shaped by the, the community itself. And, and their end result was a large, was, was in large part due to um, the, the public's input into what they wanted. Um, and they had a, a process called charrettes where the, the architects would come in and, and they would engage the public in, you know, what, what types of, of things are you looking for? What types of activities would you use the library for? What would you, and, and through all that, they were able to incorporate all, all of the, the, the needs of the community and come up with some proposed plans. They did drawings and, and whatnot and got, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. And, and so through the, through the course of it, it really uh, was, uh, was a uh, um, truly an interactive uh, process. It wasn't just, here's what it's going to be, Trafalgar, you know, take it or leave it. It was, it was uh, and you were on that. Too. I know, and I, I love the process. It just, it, the idea that, that Franklin would have the opportunity to participate in something like that, it has just, even this, the design of the barn, that was a community decision. The way that building looks was something that they said they wanted because that field had always had that one old barn. And although they were committed to the process, they were going to mourn the loss of that barn. And so the, the structure, the design of the, of the library was driven by this community hope that they would still have that image there on that location and um, yes. yeah that the whole process <coughs> is just fascinating to me even where where on the property it was located they lined they lined it up so it was visible from the the, the, the mayor from I mean, where the old library was looking right down the street straight to the yeah I don't remember that but that's what one of the things is that just the process alone um, just the opportunity to participate in something like that um, regardless of what the outcome is, I think is really neat that there's no other public process that I've ever heard of 
that's like this, ever. I don't really know how I feel about this project yet. Uh, I'm not for it. I'm not against it. Uh, I'm very neutral. I, I understand that your needs have increased, uh, as everyone's had. We're, we're in a bad time right now, and that, that bothers me. What, what bothers me more than anything, I think, though, is something of this scope right in the downtown area that may overshadow our courthouse, which would change the, the, the everyone's image of what Franklin is, I think. And, and that does bother me. Uh, and I can't support voting for this this evening because I, I, I don't feel that it's right for this council to, to, to be pressured into making a decision tonight without thinking about it. That, that's just my, my, my thinking. I can assure you the architects won't let us over shut the shadow. I mean, that'll, that'll be a major design yeah. issue. I, I, I'm not sure of what the, what the square footage of the courthouse even is, but it's, it can't be much more than this. Uh, also, we have, there's, um, in our zoning rules and regulations, there's rules that no other building can be built in the city that can you respond to that as far as the, there's a height restriction uh, there's, there's nothing can be built that it interferes with the tower and stuff in the courthouse somehow. So, Mayor, correct. and this resolution is not for whether or not we think the project should go this is just for the initial the, the very initial portion <coughs> of the in response to some of the things that Joe said if it would be all right with them, I would wonder if we might just hear what's been said tonight, schedule this for the next uh, council meeting, and open <coughs> the public uh, comments from the public as well as from the council. Uh, well, it's your, your show to run. I, I, I'm, I think you already got people here tonight from the public that would like to speak. I don't know if you all come off the next meeting or not. It's totally up to you to come tonight, probably to, ready to speak about it. I, th I think one of the things that hasn't been said, I'll, I'll add one more piece of information that everybody might be afraid to say, but I'll say it, and that's the fact that all entities of government right now are trying to protect their levies, because if you don't protect your levy, some other agency can take it. And the truth, same is true with the city, same is true with the county, same is true with the school, and I think one reason they're wanting to move forward with their $2 million bond is because their other bond's going to pay off if they pass this $2 million, that allows them to keep on moving and protect their levy. And that's just being honest. And if I was in their shoes, I'd do the same thing in that regards because um, under the House Bill 1001 and the caps that we face, um, you got to be real careful how you, how you play. It's a game almost, unfortunately. It's a game of protecting. And in my case, when I'm trying to protect the levy for the city, I'm trying to protect the ability to deliver the services to this community. I want to continue to take care of my streets, my water, my sewer, my police cars, my fire engines, and and I, and so that is the that is the situation that the state government has put us in with House Bill 1001. So you'll see everybody moving to try to at least protect their levies. Thank you. Fred. So uh, I think that is why you you feel like they might be in a little bit of a hurry that, that it, they need to protect that part of the levy so that they can do this planning because next year they would have. They would possibly lose that levy. So, what you do with it as far as tonight or next meeting or whatever, that's. Mm -hmm. But I just want to be well, honest on that. I, I just have a feeling that we ought to have an opportunity for public input. And, and, you know, if there, everybody's here tonight that wants to speak, that's the one thing. If it's uh, on the agenda next time with the idea of a public hearing, is another thing. Well, I, I think uh, we. It was advertised. Yeah. And not only we know what we want, but we also know this is your meeting. Right. But we want to be sympathetic to what you're trying to do, too. I really am in support of it, but I, I wanted to be sure we take the right steps to get there. We understand it, that. Well, they also have to have a public hearing. It, it, there will be a public hearing at the, public. at the county council meeting next week. So any, anyone that is want, wanting to speak for or against it can, can will have a chance to speak at that meeting as well. We should ask if there's people here who want to speak. That's what I'm asking. I'm, I'm oh. looking at Doc as my president and leaving that decision up to Yeah. Uh, if, if, if there are people here who want to speak, I certainly would not want to keep them from speaking. Well, we might